Greetings, program. Welcome back to my channel. I am really hoping that um, I'm getting this back into a groove here where I'm going to start making videos. I'm working on a whole bunch, and I have a whole bunch on there on my YouTube channel that I've done for like years now. And I kind of slowed up for a while because I focused more on my writing and other projects that I was doing, but now I'm trying to really get back into it. So I got a new opening, I got new theme music, I got a new t shirt, and I even got multiple cameras. One here, which is my main one, and I actually replaced that. I, I used to have a, oh my god, it was a Microsoft webcam that is probably about 12 years old. And it really, I really needed an upgrade. So I got this one. It's a Logitech, and it's got the wide view. It's got all the good features of where I haven't even figured out all of them yet. But I'm working on it. And I got camera two over there which is really cool and it might take me a little bit to get used to because I have a camera set up here with a teleprompter and I built the teleprompter myself which I'm really proud of but I have a monitor up top so I have a habit of the last couple times I've done videos or tried to record I'm looking at the monitor which is up there instead of the camera which is right there but I'm getting used to it and I also have number three down here which is my close-up camera I see a lot of videos like this that have a close-up camera and I wanted to do this because there's a lot of things that I do with th with my hands <laughs> that I want to show you I want to be able to show you close up and rather than having to do this, this kind of stuff and hold it up to the camera and wait for it to focus I can have ooh, I can have this camera down here and show it to you and you'll see what I'm doing You'll know what I'm playing with, even better playing with. <sighs> whether it's a uh, infrared on contact thermometer, whether it's the flashlight trick, which we're doing today, or whatever else, you'll be able to see it close up down here. Okay, so with that, let's get on to our topic. Okay, so I mentioned that in this episode, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the ghost hunting flashlight trick. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background on how it's actually done, courtesy of an, an amazing breakdown video done by a gentleman named Burkhard Reich. Uh, I hope I get that right. But first, what is the flashlight trick? All right, so if you're not aware of it, there are many ghost hunting teams out there that believe that they can communicate with ghosts through the use of a flashlight. Specifically, the Mini Mag Light with the Xenon Bolt. Like the K2 meter, the flashlight trick was made popular by the not so reality ghost hunting show, Ghost Hunters. In one of the episodes, which I'll put on the screen here, a crew member set up two flashlights, again, the Mini Mag Lights, and asked the ghost to turn them on. After asking several times, one of the flashlights actually turned on by itself. Holy shit! Thus was born the idea that ghosts can turn flashlights on and off to answer questions. The idea went viral among ghost hunting groups and teams are started, they started setting up multiple flashlights and talking to them. I mean, you know, talking to ghosts or talking to something. However, the ghost can't talk unless the user manipulates the flashlight first. That's right, they have to mess with it. In order to turn this type of flashlight on and off, the head has to be twisted like that. There's a dirty joke in there. The setup for this trick is to twist the head just enough to get the light to turn off. There is a sweet spot that, and ghost hunters will often fiddle with it <laughs> for a fiddle with it for a bit before achieving the right place. Then they put the flashlight down and start asking questions over and over until the light comes on or goes off. It often takes repeating the same question several times before getting the result they want. This should be the first clue that the trick doesn't work. At least not the way they believe it does. 
However, I'm often told that ghosts need to build up energy, energy, in order to turn the head and make the, the light change, you know, to turn it on or off. I honestly think this is bullshit, and we're going to go into why. So the scenario I just described goes on for several minutes, with ghost hunters believing they're actually having a real conversation with a ghost through a flashlight. Except it's not a ghost, it's science. At the start of this video, I mentioned a breakdown video by Burkhardt Reich, a German fellow who decided to test the shit out of this idea. He did a damn good job. The video he put together is an exhaustive look at what's really happening. At the end of the 21 minute video, Reich concludes, experimental results and considerations of contact physics reveal that the trick is actually caused by a heat cycle. Who knew? He did. Reich supplies, <laughs> Reich supplies a very in-depth explanation, which I'll include in the description below. The basic idea is that the xenon bulb, when on, puts out a lot of heat, which causes the reflector, this part here, to expand. It gets bigger. This applies pressure to the switch and pushes it down and breaks the electrical connection, causing the light to go out. Boom. It's out. As the reflector cools down, it contracts and decreases the pressure on the switch. This allows the electrical connection to reestablish and the light turns back on again. This cycle repeats until the ghost hunters end the session or the batteries die. Wright does a great job showing how the temperature rises and even the expansion of the reflector. I'm recreating part of the, his testing here. I got my infrared thermometer out and I've wrapped the trigger with a rubber band so that I could work, you know, hands free. I wanted to show how much heat the bulb puts out and also how fast it cooled down. I set up the flashlight just how the ghost hunters do and set it down in front of the thermometer. You'll be able to see how it turns off and on with absolutely no questions being asked of the ghosts or demons or spirits or anything. It's just the difference in the temperature. Now this is actually going over about um, a minute and 12 seconds, but I've sped it out to two times the speed just for time constraints. But you can see that it's going down. It's, it's still pretty quick and it hits about, let's see, uh, 74 degrees then it starts climbing again. I think it gets almost to 100 here. 97, 98, 99, oh yeah, 100. And then it starts blinking and you see it starts gradually going down until it loses connection again. All right, so one of the other experiments I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna set up these three flashlights. There are all three, all three of them are mini mags. They have the xenon bulbs. And once I set it up like the ghost hunters do, I'm going to walk away. I'm just going to walk away for about 10 minutes and let them go. And basically, when it's all said and done, I'm going to speed the video up so you're not just sitting here looking at a, a 10 minutes of, you know, blinking on and off and on and off. Because that's boring as shit. And I wouldn't want to do it either. So, let's get to that. And then, um, I'll see you on the other side.
So, as you can see, I mean, this is nothing more than a trick, really. Everything is wrong with this. It only works with a flashlight that you have to twist a head in order to turn it off and on. It only works with the mini mag light with a xenon bulb, not the, uh, the newer LED lights. The flashlight must be manipulated into the sweet spot before anything happens. It makes no difference what questions you ask as long as you repeat them until the light changes. Hell, you don't even have to ask any freaking questions. None at all. It still blinks. Just sit and watch the freaking thing and you'll see it blinks on its own. In courtesy of Burkhard Reich, we have a physical ex explanation backed by good, solid science and experimentation. I mean, he did a great job and it's worth the 21 minutes of sitting through it because it's you get this information and it's beautiful, it's wonderful. I suggest everyone do it. I'm definitely going to include the link in the description and somewhere in here at the end of the video. So you can, you know, click on it right from here. The bottom line here is this is just a trick that ghost hunters are playing on themselves and are accepting the trick without question. This is just bad methodology. What's worse, this trick is being presented to the public as legitimate evidence of ghosts, unintentionally or sometimes intentionally deceiving their audience. This trick caught on because it was featured on a ghost hunting reality show and so was accepted blindly by many followers. Websites that sell ghost hunting equipment, actually they jumped on the idea and started selling cheap knockoffs. You can see one here. This is one of the flashlights, Twisty Head. The site states, this particular site states you can easily conduct the flashlight experiment for potential spirit communication. Bullshit. Ghost hunters need to stop following TV personalities and taking their word as law because more often than not, their scientific advice and methods are complete bullshit. Instead of assuming they're right, start asking, why does this happen? And maybe, like, how do you know that? That's a great question, how do you know that? In the example of flashlights blinking on and off by themselves, set them up without asking any questions and see what happens. Ask yourself, does this work without invoking the idea of a ghost? Spoiler, it does. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something, maybe, hopefully. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down in the comments section below. Let's just try to keep it a little professional, a little polite. You know, if you got, it, it, there's some people that get on there that have mean things to say, and I usually just ignore them anyway. So, you know, let's have a civil discussion. That's all. Nice talk. Let, let's talk about this. If you did like the video, show me love. Hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and you'll, you'll be subscribed, which is awesome. Uh, also hit that bell, ding, and uh, that'll tell you when there's more content, more videos that are loaded. You'll get notified and you'll be able to come back and say, oh my, I'm going to learn some more. Woo! <laughs> but uh, when all is said and done, please remember, never stop learning.